Hey guys, Nick here from Click and Join, and today I have an overview of the leaked 2.1 blur update for the Motorola Click. Now, this is not on the Click XT or the Motorola Backflip. This is only on the Motorola Click. You can get this by either rooting or unrooting. I will have a link to both methods uh, in an annotation that you can click on if you want to get it. And now let's get into it. So when you first get into the ROM, actually, you'll see that they've removed the audio slider because uh, on the click itself, there's a vibrate rocker that you can switch up and down. So you really don't need that. And it kind of have a, has a theme to the unlock slider there. As you can see, it's kind of um, chrome. The new blur includes all these new widgets and icons, and there's a lot of new features to get into, so I might not cover it all, but I'm going to try to cover most of it. So the first thing you probably notice is that my clock there is, um, it's a full screen widget. This is actually a Motorola widget here. It has the time and the date, and it's also resizable. So if you hold down and you see those little arrows there, you can drag down and it will push everything else out of the way and create a different kind of widget and resize itself to fit what it looks like on your screen. Now the widget under that, that's not Motorola. But as you can see around everything else, the icons have changed, you know, the browser, that's a 2.1-ish icon. Um, this includes the 2.1 market, I'll show you right here. So there we go, you got the 2.1 market there. This music player is the Click XT music player, so they finally included it into the Click. So now you don't have to flash any custom builds like Handler, Exploit, or anything. It's built into the ROM. So there you see, you've got FM radio, music, uh, tune wiki, song identification built in, everything you could ever want in a music player. So as we go down, down here you see that the bottom bar has changed. The icons look a little bit different. Um, they're a little sleeker. And the app drawer, when you click it, it's, uh, if I can get it, here. It's not the um, Nexus launcher, but it's the stock launcher. So it's a little bit slow. I just booted up for the first time. Maybe I should kill processes. But, I mean, for a leaked version, this is really good. It's fast for leaks, but it's not final yet. So if you flash this, don't expect too much. Um, it's got everything stock, like I said before. The camera works, which I'll show you here because I know everybody needs that camera. There you go, you can take pictures. It's got geotagging and everything. There you go, and take a picture into the gallery here. That loads up here. It should zoom in, there we go. And there's the picture, so the camera works. Um, let's see what else. It includes basically all of the stock applications with blur modifications and everything it has the calculator I know a handler will be happy about that um let's see what else here the gallery is not a uh, 3d gallery it's the stock 2.1 gallery so it's like I said not 3d nexus -y. but you know it's just basic 2d you go into it and you see it's not bad I mean the click wouldn't be able to handle the 3d gallery because the processor is so slow but it's good how it is, I guess. If you want the 3D gallery, I'm sure that a developer will make a custom ROM with a 3D gallery in the future, so expect that. So like I said before, there are a bunch of new blur widgets included in this ROM. Um, so I'll just show you them. Now when you go to select what widgets you want to put, it now separates them into two categories that you can choose from. Either Motorola widgets or downloaded widgets. Downloaded widgets being either stock 2.1 widgets or widgets of applications that you've downloaded from the market. So let's go into Motorola widgets here, and there's a bunch of different widgets to choose from. I'm surprised that Motorola really put all of its time into making a lot of features into this ROM. There's four different toggles you can choose from. There's a bunch of different calendar, from calendar to music, to everything widgets that you can add. It has a happenings widget still. Uh, there's messaging, all the basic blur widgets here that you can choose from. I'm going to show you an example of each one, starting from the left side here of my phone. At the top there is the weather widget, and then under that is the newsfeed widget, which you can make bigger so you can have a bigger preview of what the article is about. You see right there. And it can be extended to full screen if you want. And also, um, you can it's just like the regular blur where you can browse through all of the different articles that are on your newsfeed. So you can resize it back down too. 
and you can put it back to where it was right there in the middle at the bottom there you can see there's a sticky note widget and you can edit it to say whatever you want you know and, and while I'm in here you see that this does include the click XT keyboard now uh, and it does include the magnifying glass from the click XT so basically they just basically took everything from the click XT that was really good and they put it on the click so now it's just basically even and the click XT is just the click without the hardware keyboard and you can you know, edit it to whatever you want it to say and you can also use the hardware keyboard here and when you use the hardware keyboard see get it focused there um, it does give you word suggestions down there so if you mess up or you don't type a word right you know maybe type close and you just click it and it will change the word to close and then you can choose to save or discard your changes and you can also when you're inside the sticky note share it with whatever social services you have so you can export it to like a a note editor if you have like I do I have color note so I could save all my to-do list in there you can email it use Facebook send it over Twitter send a text message with it all the basic ways you would usually share something so over here at the top you see I have a picture of a handler exploits Twitter page so this is a custom contact widget to contact anybody you want you could set up I have it set up to contact handler exploit so you know I could text them by clicking that or I can send them an email and then you could choose what you want to send from email gmail or email and it's pretty quick if you contact someone a lot and you just want to have a link to their contact on your home screen with a nice little picture it's da nice and dandy for that uh, and there's the four toggles I was talking about the airplane mode bluetooth and GPS and Wi-Fi so it's all set up pretty nice with the icons and everything that they've added and also at the top you can see that they've changed the signal bars there it looks a little bit different and that's about it for the UI so I'm not sure if this is going to be included in the final build but in this leaked version here there's a performance monitor application that's included which monitors your CPU, RAM and which applications are consuming the most amount of CPU so most of the time my CPU is really high, I'm not sure why it's really low, there we go, it's jumping around there. Um, I've had a lot of times where the CPU is at 100 and it gives you a little warning in the status bar when your CPU reaches 100 or when your RAM is close to full. And most of the time my RAM stays around 154 megabytes, but it has jumped high sometimes. That's just one little nifty app that they've included inside of their Blur version. So that was just a basic overview of the 2.1 Leaks Blur ROM. Um, in the future from Motorola, expect some bug fixes and the ROM to be a little faster when it's released. But for now, this is just a leaked version, so you're not going to get the most out of it. But thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And follow me on Twitter at ClickAndroid. And I will see you guys next time.